Hi, in this video we're going to have a quick look how to create a chatbot that works in multiple languages. We see many big organizations when they have internal chatbots, yeah, it needs to be available also in all the different languages that their employees talk to. But also just a chatbot for your customers. You might be a company, yeah, let's see, I'm based in Belgium, we have three uh, national languages so also the chatbots needs to be available in those three languages so let's have a quick look how that is done it's not that difficult and actually it's very simple but it's good to have a look how it's done so first of all we will open bot framework composer now i already created just an empty project where you can, which you can just do by clicking new and choose an empty uh, bot so I'm opening this one and what we will do, we'll just do our greeting because at the end the way of working is exactly the same. Once you see greeting, we have our welcome user message and that one we would like to translate in let's say three different languages. So how is that done? On the side in the menu you see project settings. So if you click project settings, you have all this, your uh, values that you can configure but here this is the part that we're interested in bot language um, at the moment the default link language is english united states this is also the one you can see here in the top now if we manage bot languages we can actually add more languages here um, let's say we want to add dutch so then, but i'll take dutch netherlands not dutch belgium although i'm based in belgium why is that because it's also used for our Lewis. The moment I choose Dutch Belgium, there's no Lewis in the locale uh, NL-BE. It will for us we need to take NL-NL. So I take and select the Dutch. Um, let's also add French. And here I will take French from France. And then we have three languages. We'll click done. Great. What happens now? We see the three languages. English will still set as the default. You can also change one of the other languages you selected as default, but we will just keep it for now on English. If you want to switch language, you can always click here and say, This is my active language and what I'm actually developing. Now, it's not really needed to develop in multiple languages. Because the way Bot Framework Composer works is everything that you add in your responses. Let's create another response. Let's say, hi there. Let's just ignore this error. <laughs> hi there, how are you doing? Great. If you go to the element here, Bot Responses, we will see all the different items that have been set. Okay, so we have our welcome user, and then this one we can remove because it's not it's not correct. Okay. Now this is the English one. Do we want to change it into, for example, the Dutch one? Well, then we just need to switch the language here to Dutch, and we can immediately change here what we want oh who gaat het met u well this welcome user is part of the common lg file so if you have a look there also we have here the english one and here we can just translate welcome bij de lege pot voorbeeld great so this is now translated to dutch and to english but let's also add some french I only speak a little bit of French, so I'll try to, to do something. Bienvenue à la chatbot. And then we have here the other set. Hey there, how are you doing? We will translate to Bonjour, comment ça va? Great. That's it. That's the only thing you need to do to make a multilingual bot. But if we look toward design, it will always stay the same stuff. 
you don't need to do a thing about that anymore. So if we start this box, open it first with a bot framework emulator to see if everything is working as expected give it a couple of seconds to uh, to start up there we go it's running so we can test it in our emulator i'm gonna open here now a live chat and i restart the conversation I will say, okay, welcome to the empty bot, and we're having a small issue here, but nothing that we cannot fix. Let's, let's just take this name for a second. And do it like that, that should be better. Let's clean this up also in the meanwhile. Our bot has re has been built again and now available in the bot framework emulator. So if you restart it, you shouldn't get this error message anymore. So we have welcome to the empty bot sample. Hey there, how are you doing? So this is in English. Now in the emulator, we would like to check it also. Let me zoom in also a bit for the so welcome to the empty bot. Hey there, how are you doing? Okay, great. Le, what do we need to do to try it, for example, in Dutch? Well, if we click here on the settings button, that is right there, we have an option here, locale. So here we can fill in, for example, NL, NL. And we click save. Now, if I go back to the chat and I restart the conversation, and there we go, everything is in Dutch. Same thing if we say to French, just change the locale, we restart the conversation and we have a French chatbot. Notice also that also the message is here on the bottom uh, that is saying to have a specific uh, type in a message. So every comment of the web chat, for example, will be in that language. Now. Of course, this is within the emulator. How do you change this within, for example, a chatbot on an internet page? Well, if we go to the web page, the GitHub of uh, Microsoft's Bot Framework web chat, and we scroll a little bit down, there's the part integrate with JavaScript. Actually, there's here this local, local ENUS. So this is the default in our case, but we could switch that based, for example, on the user settings of the pay of the, the user who is actually surfing your web page um, or get it from somewhere or you take it from the url if the language is in the url settings so i hope this gave you a small overview of how you can create a multilingual bot and also showed you how easy it actually is to create one like that so hope to see you also watching our next video and uh, have a good day